A hold is a process that, uh, since the music industry is done by committee, and everyone has to play a song for someone else to get uh, higher ups to sign off on that song. An artist will listen generally to about 3,000 songs over five, six months. Uh, the songs they write, songs that are presented to them from friends of theirs, people that they write with, their catalogs, uh, their publishers, their producers, their record labels, their publishing companies, all this songs come from everywhere. A hold means that one person in this organization, and when you're talking about an artist, you talk about assistants, you talk about producers, you talk about their publishers, everyone has dozens and dozens of filters that they go through. A hold means that I want to hang on to this song, I want to play it for more people involved, and the closer it gets to a cut, uh, the song is played for literally more people in that, uh, in that circle. Uh, if you've ever tried to get two people to decide where to go to lunch, you get the feeling of how confusing and how difficult it is when you've got different people and also people that have different, uh, different reasons to want that song. If you own a publishing company and you're involved with that artist, obviously you want them to cut your songs. And so they're a vested interest. Everyone has competing interests in everything. Everybody has a dog in the hunt. And so uh, all of these songs are compiled, and a hold means that we're hanging on that, and it moves it into this pile to be play played for more people. A cut is when a song is physically recorded. Now, something that a lot of people get kind of confused on, a cut is not the same as a release. Uh, what you're really wanting, the top of the pyramid, is a release single, which means that it's good, that song is going to be played on the radio. We're doing less and less uh, CDs now. There are some artists that are actually doing five and six song CD releases instead of the full CD, CD that we used to have 15 songs. Uh, and they're doing individual downloads uh, on, on MP3s and, and uh, where you go to their website and you can load, you can download whatever you want to, uh, legally will. Uh, and so, uh, as that is happening, getting a song cut doesn't carry the same weight. There are many uh, instances, myself included on this on several occasions, that you would have a song recorded, uh, they're going to say release a CD with 12 to 14 songs on it, and they record 25. Well, not all of those don't get included on that, and some of them wind up on the two bonus tra tracks on the Greatest Hits CD, and uh, they're called cutouts. And so just getting a song recorded uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be the single, that it's going to be out there. Um, as a matter of fact, there was one artist uh, who had to sue her record company because they released an entire uh, CD of cutouts that she didn't want released. So there are a lot of steps uh, from the demo process to the master demo process to the having songs recorded by the artist to the pitches to the whole to the getting released. It's a long journey. Again, we call it a 10 year town because sometimes it takes a long time. You find many of the songs that are written that you hear on the radio right now were written five to six years ago. Uh, and if you're wondering how you could put your life on hold for five or six years waiting for some income to come from that, now you see the dilemma that most of the writers uh, come from. Even the financial people that they deal with who are the big crooks of the industry, who, who are the, uh, no. uh, some of these songs it takes a long time to take them from the beginning of the song, getting into the pipeline, having them even recorded to fruition, uh, to release. Sometimes it can take many years. And so that's another reason why you're constantly co-writing. You're constantly writing with others and writing by yourself. When I talk about the co-writing aspect, that is not to, uh, to not write by yourself. Many people do. But it's just more fun and it helps you, as in all of these process, dealing with the demos, dealing with the pitching, dealing with the networking, dealing with the releases. All of this come through these various little creation of the song, presentation of the song, networking, and business. All of these things come together, and hopefully when you get that song cut, you make money off of it.